Today I'm challenging two builders with varying hours to build a base fit for an offline raid. Offlining is the most common type of raid in Rust, so let's see what my builders can do with 45 minutes and unlimited resources. Apart from HQM, I am limiting them to 500 HQM. The goal for the raiders is to find the golden egg hidden next to the tool cupboard, and while they don't have a time limit, they do have a boom limit, in a sense. But first, let's get the builders to do the 2 by one challenge. As always, I'll be rating them on their build speed and the quality of the 2 by one Let me know what your thoughts are on these builds below, and also subscribe. It's free. Do it. So, how many hours do you have in Rust? A thousand. About a thousand, awesome. okay. And um, how many bases do you think you've built in your 1,000 hours? Too many. Too many? This game has destroyed my life. You've got the doors, the locks, and everything on you, yeah? Three yeah, locks, two yeah. doors, yeah. Uh, the TC. Yeah. And you got stone and wood to build with, yeah? Yeah. Good luck. Mm, okay. Okay. Making pretty good time. Struggling to get the door on, I see. Oh, remember to place the ceiling piece. I like that. And tell me when you're done, by the way. Time. Right, I just... What on earth is going on here? So, <laughs> wait, so... So, you, you've got you've got an airlock. You've got the TC. Um, it is a two-by-one, uh, kind of. But the, the triangle just wasn't where I, I expected it to be. Um, what is the purpose of the shelf here? Do you put like shotgun traps uh, or something? Storage and traps. Storage and traps, okay. Uh, you didn't lock the TC? You didn't think the TC needed locking? You saw nothing. <laughs> Do you build it like this because you plan to expand it out and live in it? Or... I would usually build two by ones. A lot of the time, when I build, I'll just build random designs. And you play solo or? I generally don't like two by ones. Uh, about three, four of us now. Well, I don't mind the base. Like, it's not bad. It's not. Um... It's not the best I've seen. In terms of points, here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to dock you a point for not locking the TC. I'm also going to dock you a point for not placing the TC in the corner correctly. Because it's not actually right in the corner. As you can see, there's quite a gap on the left side there. And you can actually see it's placed at a slight angle. So I'm going to give you a... Uh, I like the shelf as well. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to give you a 7 or an 8. Let's do this. My building hammer was in the queue. No. It's still crafting? <laughs> yeah, it died. Every craft. God damn it. Take time penalty for that, god damn it. Everything was still crafting. It's vanilla craft times. Come it on. Vanilla craft times. God it's a damn. vanilla two by one you're building. Yeah. Oh, you actually placed the uh, thing this time. Yeah, I actually placed it this time, god damn it. Have you got yeah. a hammer yet? Christ. Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Oh, you remember the ceiling this time. Very nice. Oh, yes, baby. <laughs> right, everything else is crafting, so I, I can only work as fast as the game will allow me. Uh, but mate, that why are you secure. crafting? Yeah, you've literally got fucking admin. Spawn it because all in. Because I'm, I'm... Oh, my I God. Forgot. Start again. I Start forgot. again. Oh, didn't upgrade the frame. Don't know if he spotted that or not. Oh, and he's placed the TC wrong because he can't do the uh, he can't do the shelf now. Cool. Oh, that frame. Uh... Uh, yeah, right, time. <laughs> time. Fast. Okay. Yeah. Well, you spent all that time getting this thing done at the back and then didn't actually make the shelf. 
God damn it! <laughs> I was like, he's putting the TC And I put it place. on the wrong side. God damn it. And then, do you know what? This goes against my whole Creo, because I never put a TC on that side. I will say, your TC's placed better than last time, but it's yeah. still, not, still not there, man. <laughs> Look at <laughs> no, right, it looks different in no clip. Come out of no clip, I swear to God. I just don't know if you could fit a frame in because it's not quite in um, the last... We can always give it a go. We can give it a go, just... yeah, why not? Nah, it's not going to fit. No, just off. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, in terms of like build quality, um, I would probably this time give you a fair a, rating. I, I, I would comfortably give you an eight. I would very mm. comfortably, comfortably give you an eight, which I think is one higher than last time. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm honestly, I'm more tempted to give you a nine. Here are the scores for the two by one speed build. Hammer definitely is not a quick builder, which may be a bit of an issue for him soon when he's got 45 minutes to build something that's going to get offline. Next up, I gave them free roam of the map to decide where to build. Hammer wanted to build right where he placed the two by one because he had high ground and it was a good location on the map so i like the cold so for defending because it just drains the meds of the enemy where i can have comfort to counteract that they, they generally won't um we're really close to the green resources water super important decent radtan power plant bandit and the cold for farming like this is one of my, this wood is exactly where I'd build on this map. An RPG decided to build on an iceberg because he thought it would make it super difficult for raiders, which isn't entirely wrong. Unfortunately, the iceberg he chose was absolutely colossal, and I don't think he's gonna have time to put a compound or anything down. But we'll see how he does. I'm just, I'm just tying the idea. I think I'm gonna change my idea. I'm going to iceberg. You're I'm gonna, gonna iceberg it. Extra spice it. it. Yeah. See, that's what I like to hit. <laughs> So on the bases you build, like how successful would you say your bases are? Like, do you um, think that you get do you get raided a lot? Do you defend a lot? Like, what kind of team size do you need to get a good base down? Yeah, um, to get a good base down, you need. I would like to have at least six people. What do you think about like the current state of like rust bases? Do you think that there is something that every base needs to be good? Do you think that every base has pointless things on it that people add for no reason. Oh, God, Do you think yeah, people this, this just flare. copy and paste what they see online and don't really think about it? They just practice a good yeah. build and don't actually understand why it's good. Yeah, they don't even know how to use it. They'll have they'll have half gaps, wide gaps, disconnectable TCs. And they don't know why they're using it. And we've we've raided so many people and they don't use their defenses. They either hide in their core and try and rocket you, which I'm guilty of. I've done it tons of times they don't get gear sets and stuff in the right places then so they've got the gaps they've got the peaks they've got the online defend potential but because they don't understand the base they can't yeah. prepare like you need no. bedrooms you need lockers and they don't do any of that so they've no. they, they understand that they got a good base but they don't know how to take advantage of it oh. you don't have a tc do you <laughs> oh you dead yeah. Did you place it, stare right at it, and just get shot in the face? <laughs> Can we pause That's my so time? Funny. I don't know. Can you teleport me? The whole base is a maze of honeycomb and garage doors, <laughs> shotgun traps, random little shoots that lead to nothing. <laughs> I, don't even, I literally, I don't even know which way is up. Where am, where am I? I'm flying back out just to come back in again. I, I'd probably hit it from the side, uh, like a, ra a random side. I probably. Hit it like here, for example. This will take me to nothing but honeycomb, kind of as expected. I'll probably hit it again, and boom, I'm in a doorway, luckily. That's very lucky. And then um, I'd see the HKM and be like, fuck me. And I'd know I'm in for an expensive raid, because you have to go through that HQ. And when you go through this HQ, there's another wall and another doorway that leads to nothing. And then maybe I can go up here, but there's another door, and this, this leads to garage doors. I mean, it's, it's just not clear where anything is. Oh, and I've just found, I think, the way down that might take me to core. Oh, and this is sealed off, which also takes me nowhere. Yeah, this is, this is a maze. Like, this is actually a maze. Like, I've literally just used, like, 40 C4 and got to the mm -hmm. middle and just yet exploring. got nowhere. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, I'd probably be half tempted to blow up, and then that would literally just take me back out of the base again. What on earth is going on here? <laughs> yeah, so what's your opinion on, like, the current state of, like, the builds? Because I'd say most clans do one of about three different designs, and they're all pretty similar anyway. The functionality is good, but at the same time, if someone's watched the same tutorial, they're going to know exactly where your TC is, so... Yeah, no, that's so, true. That's true. So you think it's just then, a little bit boring watching people build these same bases. What do you think every good base needs? Like, what makes a base good? Unpredictability. So it's to have, have it different every time, basically. Yeah, you play... Most people play on the same server week in, week out. I do. They'll start to realise if you're doing the same base every week. And you can mm. just become an easy target. So as I said earlier, the builders will have 45 minutes and unlimited resources. They can place as many auto turrets as they want, as many fake loot rooms, etc, etc. But it does have to be a functioning base. Something you could use for a wipe in a regular Rust server. And obviously they have 500 HQM, so they can't just HQM the entire base. Now that the bases have been complete, here is how they look side by side. We've got 1000 hours versus 17 thousand hours the raiders are going to get equal amount of boom for both bases as you can see on screen right now i got two and a half rows of rockets two stacks of explo and eight c4 just to start with if this isn't sufficient there are small boxes with additional boom in there are six stacks of rockets a stack of explo and another four c4 per box so at the end of the video i'll tell you guys how many boxes they used and also how much explosives they used the boom i've put together here isn't entirely random there'll be raiders one base after the other so they get two large boxes with exactly the same amount of materials in and one of these boxes should be enough to get to the golden egg in the tc room but let's see how they do raiding today we have one of my patrons tolp town who has 6,000 hours in rust and sora who has 16 and a half thousand they're both very experienced so let's see how they do together you're offlining that base and you want to get to the tc because you just want to grief them you don't care about the loot right that's the scenario you just want to get to core TC and you want to grief the base. There's only one TC, there's no externals. And the less boom you use, the better, because then you get to go do another raid. If, for whatever reason, you run out of boom or you die, you Beautiful. 57% here, and then there's 40s everywhere else. So this tells me that straight down here is sealed off. So TC's in this triangle, in my opinion. No, no, that's going to be a bunker. That was one hell of a prediction. What you're doing right now is exactly how I told the builder how I would rate it. Technically, these would be loot rooms. Yeah, yeah, they probably would be. Ah, oh. they're going through this now. I'll be tempted to just, just hit these garage doors, and if they keep going, I think they will actually get to the TC. Hey, there's a garage door without a key lock on it, and I just opened it. That's good. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Can I open garage doors? I think because we're in the team, I can open garage doors. No, no, I just don't think they're locked. Oh, oh no, that's. That's a win! That's what That's I would do. That's a big W, yeah, no, nice. Let's go with it. No, no, to be honest, this is exactly how I would have done it What's so the far. What's the stability in the grounds here? They're even checking stability. Well, this one's eating. This one? What do you guys think of the base so far? Do you think this is the high hour builder or the low hour builder? This, this is, is... Uh, definitely a low hour builder. Okay, so you're... What are you thinking? They're gonna try and break that HQ door, I reckon. But they might not realize it's just a shoot, same as the other side. Oh. It would make sense that that's another shoot, though, because this was the other shoot. The exact same again, but the armored. It's a good guess, to be fair. I would go garage doors at this point. I would go up, and I would just start blowing all these fucking doors up. Um, I'm 100% convinced this is the high hour base because of how, like, I feel like as somebody 
who's new, they're going to put a base down, and if they're going to build something like this, they're going to expand on a smaller base, like a 2 by one or a 2 by 2 Everything so is going to be on the first floor. If they just hit this, right? If they'd have hit the base from this side instead of that side, if they hit it here, they would have been straight into TC instantly. That's incredible. Literally, they've opened up the base on this half. If they just did the same on the other half, they would have got straight to TC. Although, oh my god. Sora's using that big brain of his. If he breaks that, he's going to clock on. All around the east corners is all drop downs. It's already open. It's already unlocked. Oh, are they even going to see the auto turret coming? Oh, maybe they noticed that. Okay. Um, oh, one need in oh. center rocket. One need in okay, center yeah, one. Oh! Solid. Good shot. So they have 18 rockets. And they have one, two, three, four, five, six garage doors, one HKM door, and another HKM door to go through. And that's the TC up there. See, they're going to go through each garage door now. See, oh, I think we're onto something here. Because now we're in the outer side. And there was a turret. Are these, are these all high pop? Damn. Yeah, it's far cheaper to go left here. Than the I think so. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. so glad. I'm so glad they've, they've decided to do that. Do that. Yes, yes, yes. Keep going garage doors. Come on, come on. Splash that, splash that, and keep going garage doors, please. Yeah, he's trying to splash that door as much as possible there. Now, if they just go four more doors, they're in. They just don't know it. Wait, let's go down. And the floors, because we want to open yeah. them down, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, they're going to need more boom now as well. They don't even know it yet. Oh, I, don't, I, the last one. I don't even want to see the look on their face when they get down there. Yep. I'll risk it for the biscuit. No! I thought that fuck my life. Top down still wouldn't have been as effective. I'm just saying, so at the end of this, if the TC is on the top floor and we would have seen it from blowing in, I'm going to be like, God damn. It's a half floor. Look, if you look up, it's a fucking half floor. That's not the full roof, though. There's another half up. That, that's it. It could be pancake there. See, this garage door path we're on is going to go all the way around, and every one of these going down is it just screams bait to me. I bait? don't know why. Bait? A very experienced builder, and they they knew that like a typical raider would follow the route that we did. My god, the double bluff. The double bluff. Ah, <laughs> oh, I, I can see the cogs turning. I can see why. I see why Tolb's saying what he's saying. You wanna just go up there and is that what you're looking today? Because they're all half floor like that guy. No, I agree with I agree with the half floor right there. So what I would suggest is we call it a bust in this base and not blow the rest. That was HP rocket. Yeah, well, obviously, obviously, we're going to take a lot of time. Would would you would stuff. you like to call it? Are you giving up? I don't want. I don't personally think so. But if he wants to, it's I'm with him. I mean, how much boom? Have you got any boom left? I'm not I have box. nothing on Three, me. Four rockets, um, bit of explosive ammo. I oh, may as well use it. Just pick something and uh, and go for it. He is right. He is right. He knows. He knows that we behind one armored door. This armor just is random. The rest Tol everything is obsessed. Else Tol was obsessed with the armor. It's They're so close, and I just I can't say anything because it's kind of pointless. It like ruins the idea. They've got six out of the eleven loot rooms so far, and now they're gonna carry on going garage doors. I'm so happy they're going garage doors again. They have six out of the eleven loot rooms, and they've and they've got the entire core. So they've got. 70-ish percent of the loot so far. So if you're outside, you take every one of these here wee bits, you can get literally get left and right. So if you did the same with them all, you get left, you get right. Yeah, so like you're only using, what, a couple handful of rockets and you're getting straight yep. into... You're getting, if it's not high qual, then you're hitting the wrong one. Mm -hmm. Cause, so yeah. each one, say, if you have a last C4, bad bad, you throw four C4 in each one of them. And you see which one has the high quality side wall. All we need to do is go down here. One, That's which it. Is probably going to be either main loot or it's going to be TC. See, because I mean, there's no building stuff in here, like benches, no boxes, no loot rooms. There's no flow of 
Yeah, like, like knowledge. Yeah, no. I like, mean, you've you've got, you guys, so far, you've o o first of all, you've opened the entire core of the base. So if there were any boxes, anything in there, you've got, you've had them. Also, these drop downs. I, I don't want to say how many there are or anything, but based on the squares, I know how many there are. There's yeah. one, two, there's three, four, there's five, six, there's seven, eight, there's nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, you've so got 12, you've 40, got yeah. half of them. You, so you've opened six of them. Yeah. So you would have easily over half the loot that this base has at this point. But see, I wouldn't I wouldn't come down the roof in the center where it's gonna be honeycombed. I would have went on that nineteen percent because I know it's open underneath. Right. I'm just saying like that's where I would have started. Yeah, yeah, no, no. And I, I would have opened it up. It would it'd be exactly like this, but flipped upside down, where the holes in the top and it's just split out from top down. Oh my god. I like that because we don't know what's on that side. Hundred percent we could have one more off. I can hear them. I can hear them losing their minds. What the fuck is this? You you don't think you could shoot it like this and not take damage? Hundred percent that's gonna be nothing. Sora's right. Sora's been right about everything so far. Yeah. Is he gonna keep going? Yeah, if they blow both of these, they're done. He must know. That's it, he must now know for sure. Especially because of this wall. Especially because of this wall, he must know. They must know. Hey, one of them finally got me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm feeling a high TC. I still am. I felt it from yeah. the get go. It's like a gut feeling, man. Sometimes you gotta go with your gut, honestly. I, hey. If you didn't die again, I swear. No, no. See, and, and Max said I should go with my gut feeling, meaning, like, if we keep going oh, through I'm the doors, not, we're going to I'm not way. gonna give you any hints whatsoever, so you don't trust the word I okay. say. Okay. <laughs> but I. Do I fucking. Do your psychology this? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Sora. He goes, Tolb, breaking through the ceiling. And it's to nothing. I'll floor it, isn't it? They're going to be so annoyed when they blow through this and they're literally where they have been already. So there's only one wire leaving here. <laughs> there's only one wire leaving though, so I would follow that wire. Just in, in my opinion, like that's how I would have personally done it. Whether it's right or not, I don't know. Uh, but Tolb, Tolb didn't know for sure. I don't really get the logic behind this one, I'll be oh, honest. Token. Or did that just get us? Please, please just keep going. Oh, please just keep going, please. You need expo? I got expo. What's down there? You see something? No, I didn't see that. <laughs> what? Oh, this way then? Why didn't he say yeah, anything? Yeah, hello, I'm coming up. He's gonna give him the egg. He's gonna drop I the egg. I saw five rockets, so I can shoot a few off. Oh, okay. Congratulations. Let's go. <laughs> Fucking knew it. You know I what? Found it. You know, I, I knew it. You know what hurt so much? A, you did everything right. You did absolutely everything right. Um, you blew in. You blew into the core. You looked around. You realized these little tunnel down drop bits are where the loot is. You figured that out, and you were like, right. Sora even said at one point the TC will be in one of them and Tolb was like no it's not and I was like biting my nails I was like fuck it is but like I'm not gonna say anything but I'm glad I've understood where the loot rooms are and then and then right you see this you see where you went in here right mm -hmm. if you just gone through there this is TC as well um there was another point where you Sora if you come outside for a second there was another point where you were like, oh, we'll go through this. And I was literally like, psychologically, that ladder creates a barrier. But if you blew through those four, then those four, that's a TC again here. So if you'd have just gone through the outside in each corner, you would have hit not only every loot room individually, but yeah. you would have got TC there. I so, call it, it's an old school base. Uh, yeah. It's a, it's a very, very old school base. I remember the days where I, I actually did one like that. 
I did it with the Patreons and said, yeah, so that we did yeah. a loot room call. You guys were so close. Like, if you'd have just blew in instead of the right side, the left side, you literally 16 rockets, you would have got it straight away. Like, that would have been the quickest yeah. raid, and I would have been shocked. But I'm, I'm kind of glad it went the way it did. And um, it is an old school base, but was it the old school builder? At this point, they still have no idea which is the noob base and which is the high level base. So we're going to move on to the next raid now. So yeah, that's that's the guy with the most hours. 100%. That's the guy with the most hours. Reason being, it's just quick build. Can he shoot that? Oh my god. I don't even know how much damage those shots do. I have literally no idea. I thought one Insin would kill it though. I'm surprised they're using HVs on it. Wow. I'm, I'm certain one Insin would have destroyed that. Certain of it. Shit, that does no damage to them. But if they go through the garage door and they basically work their way up through the base, they will just they will eventually just get to the TC. I believe it's on the middle floor, third. So. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this door path. The door now, path begins. See, personally, me here, I would go that way from here. I would not. I mean, I might. I depending on like what kind of boom and how much of what I had. I would never go through a sheet metal wall when I have a garage door because you need to see what's behind it, and this goes up. Because that's probably just a sealed off jump up. It's a way up. It's the way up. Oh, Shamey's saw doesn't like using incense. Now they don't know it, but I think they're only two or three floors away from TC. That's above me. We need to go up. We need to go <gasps> up. Okay. Sora's a big, big, big brain right here. Deserves a medal, honestly, for figuring that out. Ooh. I like that. He's gonna really like that. Look how close they are. Okay. They're literally here. They're literally here. They're so Ooh. close, they just don't know it. And that garage door's open. This is almost half health. Should we just go up? Oh, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Big brain, big brain. It would've been much cheaper to go through that garage door. I don't know why they haven't thought about that. Maybe they just think it's in the middle. Hmm. I can hear auto turrets. Oh, it's the same as this floor. Right there. Will he think to go through this wall? If they go through that wall, because look, that oh, one's not soft side. Every other one is soft side. If they get up here, yeah, oh, oh my god, no, no, if he gets up here, he'll know. If he gets up here, they'll either do this HQ one and be annoyed, or they'll go the other side. But there's guarantee, I guarantee it, I guarantee it. They'll either go right or left. Oh, no, no. left, high call wall to the left. Okay, you will go that direction. Yeah, I knew it, I knew it. I knew they'd go right. But will they turn around after? We got open doors. And we got a, a drop box. And there's a garage door. They're going to hit that garage door now. 100%. Now this is it. So where we are, it's high qual. What about? He's thinking. He's thinking. Okay. He's close. He's so close. He doesn't even... That is the closest he's been to the TC. It's well, this is a here. bait because this isn't even hooked up. He was up. literally stood less than a, a wall, he's less than a meter away from the TC. They'll get those garage doors, that's fine. There's no problem checking that. They're gonna check the garage doors, I understand. Nine or eight garage doors now if they go that way. Or it's literally half the boom to go through this wall and What's they're the there. Stability of all these? How many rockets have you got? Four. Do the wall, do the wall, do the wall, do the wall, please do the wall. Please do, do the wall. Do uh, Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Rock at this wall for Yes! Me, yes! Cool. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. You know what this proves? You know what this proves? I need to know. Do you know what this proves? If it's mirrored? Yeah. What, you think because it's like hard side? Or something? No, mirrored. Oh, mirrored. so you think it's just the same as the other side? Yeah. Well... You'd be correct, wouldn't you? <laughs> Let's go!
You know what? That that was a clutch, like, let's go the other way decision. You know what? The minute, the minute you decided to go up on that second floor, I was like, oh, this is done. They're not, they're not even going to need another box. And then you started going through the HQ, and I was like, that's fine. They'll get through the HQ, then they'll turn around and be like, oh, that's hard side wall on the sheet metal. We'll have to go that way after, because it'll not, be... It's not, it's not the hard side to hang. I, I counted the hangs, so one, two, middle, mm -hmm. one, two, middle. So what I was thinking was it was one, two, three, one, two, three. I think we were missing the square. That's what I thought. I was like, is it mirrored at the other side sort of thing? And that concludes the raids. For the first base, they needed 113 rockets, 24 C4, and 424 Explo. And on the second base, even though it was much, much larger, they used a fraction of that with 8 C4, 45 rockets, and 46 Explo. I think this video proves, without a shadow of a doubt, experience is one of the most valuable gifts in building. And you can say, oh, well, they could have got lucky and gone through the wall and got the teeth. Well, the fact is they did. They both agreed that the higher hour player built the first base and the lower hour player built the second, but they were surprised at how high the hours were on the first base builder. So if you want to be in videos like this, definitely check out my Patreon. I stream Rust live three or four days a week on my Twitch. And if you're enjoying the content, make sure you subscribe down below and don't miss any future videos. I'm glad you enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.